what is up back learners and today is gonna be a special video because because because, because i'm gonna share with you my routine from the time i wake up until the time i go to sleep so you won't miss anything so we're gonna see my work routine my habits me going to work my transport uh, anything you wanna see everything 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 so i hope you enjoy it this is four forty a.m. and I am going to the gym right now. It's still dark, and I'm leaving for the gym. Dress myself, I'm going to work. Now I'm ready to work. It's roughly 9 a.m. I think. Now I have my lunch, not my lunch, but my meals ready. I want to store it here and I always carry them to, to work because I have a diet plan and I follow it every day. I eat at every I eat the same thing every single day. So see see you at work. What's up folks? I'm here in the company and this is the buildings and they are entering the company and when I get in there I'll feel myself try, uh, working a little bit and then I explain a little bit what I'm doing so see you there what's up I'm getting back home it's the beach with plenty of clouds not a good weather today so I'm getting home I'm pretty tired and that is pretty much almost everything for my vlog I'm gonna record a little bit more when I get home so you can see a little bit what I do at home what's up tech learners I just got off from work and always when I get from work I, I can't I couldn't film this but always when I get from work I'm in the middle of a 60 days challenge if you if you aren't seeing that you can follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna uh, leave the link somewhere in the description, and you can <clears throat> you can follow me to see a little bit in details about this project of the 60 days, where I basically write 30 minutes every day. I read 30 minutes every day. I study one hour about the method system every day. And this study can be only studying or studying and doing some project. And also, what else? I post something on LinkedIn about embedded system every day. So, if you also are interested in about uh, embedded system stuff, it can be newsletter, not newsletter, but embedded news, and post about tips and projects I'm doing, etc., etc., etc. You can follow me on LinkedIn, and you can see everything um, that you can see everything there. And here I'm at my desk and i'm actually making my project with arduino and a usb to serial adapter where it's a pretty 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 simple basic project where i will send a string via wart to the standard output it's not it's not big deal but it's just to just to keep practicing and understanding in a more low level layer how every block is interconnected etc 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 so i'll be studying one hour and then i'll i'll i'll, I'll, I'll film this after I, i'll be finished but after my one hour is finished i will just 
eat my last meal before I go to sleep. And uh, I forgot what I was about to say, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna study here and uh, you're gonna see a little bit what about what I'm doing. Well, I'll film me study. I'm reading also a, an Arduino book, it's called Programming and Interfacing at Mail AVR. So I uh, wanted to restart from the basics about embedded systems. So I'll, I'll make it together with this 60 day series. I'm restarting, relearning embedded system from scratch. So I'm taking an 8 bit microcontroller and I'll, I'm understanding with a different perspective than I was uh, a time ago when I studied for the first time. So I'm looking more into the architecture, how each block are connected, how the CPU connect, uh, how the CPU uh, communicates with peripherals and uh, memory, etc., etc., etc. So I'm paying more attention to these details because with uh, more in depth, depth understanding of the low layer, what, what's happening in the low level layers. I think you are, uh, you, you are able to predict uh, with better chances what will happen in a large, large scale system, for example. And this can be really valuable for an engineer. And I, I came to this conclusion also discussing with an engineer from embedded systems engineer from Google. And I discussed with him in LinkedIn, asking him, asking him some questions, and he gave me those insight, insights that should focus on mastering the basics. So it's computer architecture, programming, and operating systems. And then you can uh, go up, level up a little bit the knowledge for more complex topics such as device drivers, RTOs, etc., etc., etc. So in the 60 days challenge, I'm focusing on the basics. So you won't be seeing me uh, doing anything complex. I'm doing everything, every every basic thing. So uh, with a good, really good understanding with what happens in each layer of software, in the low layer, etc., in the resistors, etc., 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 because it's a eight bit microcontroller you can have have a a better understanding uh, of this its architecture and also you can make more low level projects and you can better control uh, the processor in general but anyway i talk it too much so let's add to it What's up? It's late already. It's almost 11 p.m. I had some issues with my Arduino. Uh, I was trying to fix that, but I didn't manage to fix that. So I'm gonna try tomorrow. And I stopped to go to sleep because I I don't I can't handle really well when I don't get enough sleep. So uh, I'd rather stop and continue tomorrow. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, subscribe. And I'm a little bit tired, so I forgot the rest. But if you want to follow me on Instagram or LinkedIn, I'm going to leave you the link in the description. See ya. Happy learning.